Hi, this is Ann Gunn with a quick anagram on how my Canvas courses are organized. Um, the course you're looking at on the screen, um, I'm in student view, which is not an exact replica of what you see, but it's as close as I can get and it should serve for the purposes for today. Um, so the course in front of you may or may not be the course you're actually taking this fall, but I um, organize my courses as consistently as I can and so it'll serve for a, a quick tour. Um, what we're looking at right now is my homepage, um, which in some other courses you might have seen as a modules page. I don't separate those two things out. I've been told that students like to get right to work. And so um, when you land on your Canvas course, this is what you're going to see is the modules page. And um, I highly recommend that you create a browser bookmark to this page. I've seen people um, navigate through their college landing page, um, click buttons, go to their dashboard, click down to here. And that's fine for the first few times you access a course, but you're going to be coming back to this page um, possibly multiple times a day throughout the semester. If you don't know how to do um, a browser bookmark, or you don't know how to organize them into folders, which makes them much more useful, please come to one of my early drop-in lab hours, or even just call me at the beginning of the semester, email me and set up a time to work together. It's, um, if you don't know how to do it, it's, it's a mystery. And if you do know how to do it, it's really simple. And it can save you a ton of time to have bookmarks to um, some critical pages. So um, if you've taken courses from me before, I have made a small change um, this semester. And I think a lot of your, your teachers will be doing the same thing. There's now a section up here and it's got three parts. Um, one is the college's mandatory language that I need to share with you on COVID-19 protocols. I don't expect this to change over the course of the semester unless the college um, changes its policies but um, it is important to read it. I have a page um, on sort of an overview page of the course and it includes my contact information and some important things like the, the difference between an online course and a self-paced course, if you've never um, really thought about those differences. Um, anytime you wanna go back to that modules page, you can always click the browser back button, but this, these things up here are called breadcrumbs and you can also just go to the top of the breadcrumb list and get back to that same module page. Um, the third section here is the course syllabus. And so these are all links to external documents. It's really important you understand that anytime in my course that you link to an external document, you shouldn't be asked for um, username and password. You should always be aware of what systems have a right to ask you for that information and what don't because um, external links like this are, are modestly subject to phishing attacks. But in the case of mine, what you should see anytime there is a link like that, and it'll generally go to a Google Doc, sometimes a OneDrive Doc, is that it's publicly accessible. You click the link and you go directly to the doc without it being asked for any identifying information. Okay, so um, there's the syllabus, the handbook, which you should have already been mailed. Um, if you signed up late, you may have missed the email with the course handbook. Be sure to study that. Um, the overview for the calendar for the semester and um, my bio and some other online resources. So there's a reason why um, I include all of this information and in a picture of me is that I really am a primary resource for you. You have to do the learning yourself, but if you have obstacles to learning, you have questions, you need to just ask, um, reach out, email or Slack, either one, and you'll learn about Slack in your first um, week. So if you don't know that term, don't worry about that either. Um, going back, let's take a look at a typical week. Um, oh, I should say one thing. Uh, this page gets really long. Um, through the course of the semester. It's, a, it's actually always the same length, but as you get down to week nine, 10 and beyond, you do a lot of scrolling. So one really useful button is this one, which simply folds all of those little module um, sections up, and then it makes it much easier to get down to later weeks in the course. So you, there's an expand all, collapse all, and then if you wanna look at a typical week, you can just simply use this little triangle right here. Hard to see on this screen, but it is a triangle. And you just click it to open or close those sections.
<laughs> so um, I try to be um, almost boringly consistent in my classes, um, except for when the calendar um, throws us uh, curveballs like around Thanksgiving or other breaks. Um, generally, everything works the same way. I release on Thursday morning and things are due seven and a half days later on a Thursday evening at before the end of the day. Every week we'll start with um, a slides presentation that I've generated in Google Docs. And once again, you shouldn't be asked for any identifying information here. Um, you may find it useful to uh, to look at these things on an external device, uh, depending on what size screen you have. You might find it useful to look at these on a separate computer, a tablet if you have one, or else you have to just simply be switching back and forth between the various tools that you use. So the, that's the slides um, for the week. And um, I should explain about this. The status email, this may look like something you're supposed to submit, uh, but really, this just makes a place in the gradebook for me to put the points for your email. Um, it's an email. Send it to me through Outlook. Do not use the Canvas inbox feature. I will not respond to or give grades for status emails that are sent to that Canvas inbox. You need to be checking your college email to get financial aid information, to get other announcements from the college. And so it's important that, um, at least it seems important to me, that I ask you to use the same system for getting information that the college asks you to use. Um, so this first week, you've got an extra entry for a student survey, but generally what these weeks will look like, like is um, a Tuesday status email, an assignment where you'll submit your work for the week and the slides will tell you what you need to submit. Sometimes it's a document with text and screenshots. Um, oftentimes it's a URL to some work on the web or you might upload some data you've generated or even some code, even a few lines of code. And then um, there will often not always be a quiz. Uh, my three credit courses tend to have quizzes more like every other week. Um, my four credit courses tend to have um, quizzes a little bit more like um, every week, at least in the first half of the course. And you can see if I open this up, um, starting in week two, I don't have the slides published yet because I like to review those right before. So when I release on Thursday, what I'm really doing is making sure that the slides are there with all the instructions for you. So. Uh, the only other thing I guess that I, I like to point out to people is you have both a calendar function over here, which would show you all of the items for all of your courses, and I highly recommend you look at that. I can't actually in student view show that to you, but each, um, but I certainly can show you the course calendar and maybe just emphasize again the consistency of, of my courses um, when the calendar allows me to have it. Let's move over to September. Moving to September. Um, what you see is the status email due every Tuesday. And then each week you've got an assignment, possibly a quiz, um, possibly a survey. And the extra credit um, is just an entry in the grade book. Um, it's not due, uh, but I do give extra credit when people help each other on Slack. Um, when you point out to me that I have a defect I can correct in, in the slides or someplace else in the course. Um, many things change on me every semester uh, because I'm a technology teacher, the technology just keeps moving on. And I need all the support I can get from you guys um, to keep my course up to date. At the same time, I'm trying to give you support to complete it successfully. So um, welcome to the course. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, thanks for watching.